Yeah, when I was asked about uh, to play in, in to participate in chess boxing, I was like, wait a second, that's okay. It's it's quite a lot to take in, but I thought, you know what? I want to give it a shot. Hi, my name is Mick from Chess.com, and today I'll be talking to Anamaya Kazavi, a FIDE master, Hi. <laughs> under 16 <laughs> European champion, multiple, multiple, multiple time Dutch champion. <laughs> oh, that's a really fun question to start with. Um, I actually haven't heard a single word from them, unfortunately, but who knows? Um, it's still early. It was also um, around, you know, holiday time, so you never know, right? <laughs> Just before 2023 uh, ended, I crossed 2200 OTB, which was like a goal for a while now. Um, I already had 2300 like years back, but I dropped quite a bit just below 2100 and uh, that's when I started streaming basically. So it's really nice to be back to 2200, but I'm hungry for more. I want to get up there, reach uh, WGM, maybe I am and who knows what else is up there. But I really want to invest my time to reach uh, those goals. And for this year, the plan is to get back to 2300 and let's see how far I can get. Sadly, the interview with Ding, um, it was really inconvenient because my stream like just died just five minutes before the interview, it died and we had no idea because there's a 15 minute delay. So we don't know um, if the stream died or not. We have no idea. And we were streaming with the GoPro. So the GoPro doesn't really help so much in terms of IRL streaming. So we didn't realize until afterwards that yeah, all the footage is just gone uh, forever. Uh, but it was definitely like one of my um, most fun and best interviews ever because because Ding is just such a kind person. He was really sweet, um, sharing so many uh, nice insights. And that date was also um, Chinese New Year. So he was like proudly telling about that. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. And yeah, just such a nice and humble uh, person. Yeah, yeah, I, I was, uh, it was actually like pretty last minute, so um, I was not 100,000% sure was happening because I did not receive any sort of contract. I, it was just a word to word kind of like, we want you to have it here, here and yeah, I was just waiting for the confirmation like, okay, it's really happening, here's a contract, etc. But then all of a sudden it was cancelled, so I was like, Oh, and then I saw the lineup. I was like, oh, it was actually happening <laughs> because uh, I was not 100% sure yet. I was supposed to do training and everything, of course, but um, without the contract, I don't even know where to begin with. So I was just waiting for that. Yeah, when I was asked about uh, to play in, in to participate in chess boxing, I was like, wait a second, that's okay. It's, it's quite a lot to take in, but I thought, you know what? I want to give it a shot. This is like, uh, this is like people like this is like heaven calling me to start, uh, you know, doing sports and uh, to get in shape and become more active because yeah, I admittedly did not go to the gym like ever, so I needed to get started somewhere. It helped me a lot. I had like a personal trainer for a few months, but I knew there was like a lot of work to do. My personal trainer told me that you know I could be doing just fine. I just need to like get started with something and uh, to continue. And uh, with that in the back of my head, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give this uh, chess boxing a shot and um, I'll, uh, I'll, I was very motivated to get going with it. But yeah, unfortunately it was canceled. So, uh, well, I was also slightly glad because there was not so much time left uh, because until that day, I didn't even know it was 100% happening, which was like a month before the event or something, or two months. So you have to imagine I'd have to start from zero to 100 in boxing. So I found five facts about you that may or may not be true. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, depending on how accurate my sources are. My sources are the internet. <laughs> That, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I think he follows almost everyone out there. I think at this point it's special if you're not followed by him. <laughs> I mean, I love Pikachu, but that's about it. You know how there's like fans that know all of the Pokemons? That's not me. <laughs> I'm not sure, but when I was like 
three years old or something, I started ice skating, um, figure skating. I was just going to the club and, um, you know, was taking lessons there. And until I started playing chess, I went to the club. So for like three years, I think I was going to this club. And then at some point I had to decide, okay, do you want to go for figure ice skating or do you want to play chess? Because it was pretty expensive to choose both. Um, and then I decided to play chess. So. I don't know if it's called talent uh, when it comes to figure skating, but I loved it a lot. It was really fun. So the way that it started is, so I love playing games and I was always playing with my grandma. Um, we played Monopoly for hours, but you know how long it can go for. And at some point um, she was fed up with me and she passed me on to grandpa and um, she was like, yeah, please teach her some games and keep her busy, please, because I really love playing games, right? And then he taught me many different games. And at the end of the day, he asked me, which one did you like the most? And I said chess, and then we started playing chess. And um, yeah, that's how it all started. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> um, so every single year since I was like, okay, four I guess. Um, I was already going a lot to Georgia. Every single summer we would go to Georgia and from four years old onwards I started recording music. Uh, I started singing and I mean as a four-year-old you don't really you can't really sing much right? Um, but yeah already I think at six or maybe even five um, we recorded a song and then a music video as well. Uh, it was super cute. I really didn't like recording it as much. Um, it was really like taking so much time. Um, I was really scared. I remember in this one music video where I had to be like on a high platform and I was all alone. I was really nervous and scared. Um, but yeah, I have a passion for singing. It's like my hobby. 